When you gotta go, you gotta go. But maybe not outside a family home in full view of security cameras. Patricia's fed up by a man caught time and time again doing his business on her front lawn. And we're not talking a number one here. A man doing his business on the curbside. Your curve is a My curve. toilet. Yes. It's the curbside dumping taking on a whole new meaning. And you've got no idea who this guy is? No, I have no idea who he is. Um, I don't recognise him. A turd left on Patricia's turf by a mystery man with an unusual habit. He's got no shame. He's just a shameless pig. The latest bout a week ago. Just after six in the morning and the man in this van is about to strike. He appears to be dressed like a tradie, jumping out and walking to the passenger door. He drops his dax and does the dirty deed, even pulling out some wipes and leaving them behind. A stunned Patricia later forced to clean up the unwanted deposit. I was got smoked. Everyone I've showed it to has been laughing. According to Patricia, this man's done his business more times than she can count in the exact same spot outside her home in the Melbourne suburb of Oakley. He's come at least 15 times over the last three years. Most times it's during um, the darker mornings. He just doesn't give a shit. Just down the road, there's three, four petrol stations. There's Hungry Jacks, there's KFC. You can go there, why stop here? Or why not stop at the Portaloo just a few doors down? Seems he's totally undeterred. The first time it happened, uh, it was midnight, and I thought that the when the bins got emptied out, that coffee beans had fallen on the floor. And I was literally gonna pick it up myself and realise, no, it's either dog poo or, or something else. So I left it. And then um, basically that's when I sort of started to think, nah, I need to set up the camera system to find out what it is. And that's when I found out that it's actually a human and not a dog. Patricia's sick of hosing down her lawn day after day. It's disgusting. You just don't want to um, wash someone's feces down the street. He needs to clean his act up, I reckon. Have you finished your lunch? Because it's a little bit gross. <laughs> Literally, literally sticks. I think that's, that's, that's gross, definitely that's gross. It's not the first time someone's been caught in the act. Caught red-handed, relieving himself behind a rubbish bin. Who could forget this jogger in Sydney, relieving herself outside the office of PR queen Roxy Jasenko, or this man in Townsville, emptying his bowels behind a red rooster. Do they do this in France? In France? No, 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 of course, no way. This particular offence speaks to anger and badness to me. It's well organised. Um, I've seen the footage. He cases the street to make sure there's no witnesses. He's very careful to disguise himself. Criminal psychologist Tim Watson Munro. Some people, uh, they're known as coprophilics. They, they love poo. I've done nothing against anybody and and, and if, even if I did, that's the lowest you can go. Some people use poo as a weapon. And I used to see this a lot when I worked in prisons where angry prisoners would bronze up, as they would say. Patricia hopes somebody knows who this pooper traitor is so he can be flushed out for good. If I were you, I'd stop because you're going to get caught with your pants down. Let's hope police get to the bottom of it.